Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video, guys, talking about uh, some oil for uh, your bearings. Keep everything lubricated good, and hopefully you don't have any uh, failures. Uh, somebody had asked me, I've been using this, it's called Labelle's, uh, Labelle 108. It's a synthetic oil. I've done videos on this, so I'm not going to get too, too into this. Uh, but somebody did want the website, so I'm going to give that. It's www.con-cor-com uh, backward slash label.html. Okay? Uh, so I've been using this, guys, for all of my bearings, but recently I switched uh, to the Scorpion motor bearing lubricant. Now I'm still going to use this for all my other bearings, all the torque two bearings and all the other and the T-Rexes and, and the Goblin, everything uh, except I bought this especially for the motor. The motor turns a lot guys, it takes a lot of wear and tear. The bearings uh, in there more than anything else I think on the helicopter. Uh, so I decided to use this, uh, like I said it's, it's a Scorpion motor bearing kit <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna. I got that Innovative Designs, uh, which is the uh, U.S. Uh, distributor of Scorpion stuff. Um, I'm just gonna read you a couple little clips out of here, guys. It's pretty interesting. It says, in an average flight, a 450 class helicopter motor can spin over a quarter million times at close to 50,000 RPM. It says at these speeds, the oil can get thrown out of the bearings in as little as 10 to 15 flights. Once the bearings lose their lubrication, uh, they can heat up very quickly and wear out. Uh, so this really is going to prolong the life of the bearings and keep your motor from failure and keep the bearings uh, really good. It's a 25cc bottle. Uh, this oil is very thin. It gets in. It says here... Uh, uh, it's chemically uh, formulated to bond uh, to the ball bearings, the races, uh, the, bear, uh, the bearing itself, enabling it to cling uh, to parts under the highest loads. It also displaces moisture and inhibits uh, corrosion. Uh, they give you two different size needles here. A longer one and then a smaller one here. Okay, I'll get up and show them to you. Uh, this oil looks definitely different. It smells different. It's, it's much different than the labels. Uh, they're saying it's a motor lubricant kit. Uh, I'm assuming you could use it, if you could use it on motor bearings, you could use it on all your bearings. Uh, I'm going to keep it for now strictly for the motor. I've had good luck with the labels, so I'm going to keep using that. Uh, but I guess you can use it, I mean, if you can use it on motor bearings, you can use it on any. Uh, but they probably specifically say that because uh, Scorpion doesn't make helicopters, so uh, they're just saying motor bearing. Uh, I'm sure if they made helicopters, it would probably say overall, you know. Uh, but let me get up and show you. It gives you a description of pictures here of where to oil if you don't know where the bearings are on the motor. <coughs> so I'll show you the pictures, guys. I'll show you the oil, what it looks like up close here. All right, that's the oil. Okay. And we'll put this paper down. This is the shorter needle. All right, and this is the uh, longer needle, which is nice to give you both. And I'll show you here the picture. It's showing you the bottom bearing right here where the oil and then the one up on top right inside there you can see through the, with the picture obviously when you have it a lot better than I'm showing you but it does give you a description so if you're a novice you can uh, definitely do it it shows you where they are <clears throat> so it's very important guys to keep these bearings oiled it really does keep them from wearing out <clears throat> these bearings really should last forever almost if you do keep them lubed up and oiled. Uh, so it is very important in these. 
bottles of oil, guys, are like eight, nine dollars. So it really doesn't break the bank. And uh, you know, they say to put one drop of oil on each motor bearing. I put more than that. I put at least uh, two or three or even four around that and let it seep in there, turn the motor, and it goes right inside the bearings. Uh, but it is important to do. It will keep you from having any incidences uh, and any failures. Uh, and you can, you know, from what I read you there, you can see uh, how many times these things spin and the abuse that they take. Uh, you can go to www.innovativedesigns, which is spelled I N N O V, the number eight, T I V E designs.com okay and if you want a phone order you can call them at 760-468-8838 okay uh, so like I said I'm going to continue for now to use the labels on all the other bearings I'm going to keep this strictly for the motor um, I do mine every other weekend uh, because I only the, the amount of batteries that I have and the flights that I have but you really have to go by how much you're using it and how many batteries you have and you know how many flights you do on the weekend so it's really up to you uh, but they're saying here five to ten flights okay for helicopters and 50 flights for uh, airplane motors so there you go uh, anyways guys uh, don't overlook this this is a very important aspect to maintaining these uh, machines so thank you for watching if you'd like to subscribe or have any questions shoot me a line Nitro Kyosho, take care.